Hello there, friends. So today is going to be a bit of a mixed bag. I want to show you a few things that I've done around the base so far. Now I finished, or didn't finish, but I added this path from the enchanting area out this way. And I put on the redstone door. However, you'll notice it is not flat on the floor. But it works great. Stairs are still uh, iffy at times due to how they are in the current update. They kind of stop your momentum so you don't actually glide up top. But I had to change a couple things. Well, I had to change one main thing, which had me change the redstone around. So due to how this was going, underneath here we have the redstone. There you are. So, the problem that I was having is that this part was fine, but the problem started over here. So, is this redstone? No. So over here, we have the redstone running up this side, which seemed okay. However, the problem became that when I was trying to hook up the redstone to the second piston up top, the way that it was set up due to the piston having to be extended and to pull up the block, like so, the piston was too low. So what I mean by that is, I mean, obviously, it was too low. But the way the redstone that I'm learning and figuring out actually works is that this has to be right next to this part of the piston. It was one or two blocks lower. Well, one block lower. And so, the redstone torch is down here, but you can't run the redstone line into the torch to turn it off. You have to run it into the block, which the redstone torch is powering, which is then powering that. So I had to either cut down part of this tree right here, which would have been very visible, and very hard to cover up, and more annoying than it needed to be. Or just raise it up and put some stairs, which I think is definitely the better option. Now, I might put a repeater down down here somewhere to delay it a touch, but I don't think I will, because you can still walk through just fine. It's not, it's not impeding anything. But otherwise, the door works great. It's, it's exactly what I wanted, as far as you can just walk on over through here, and then you got the exit over here. But yeah, it was pretty... It took me a minute to finagle how to work this out and not completely redecorate everything. But I'm glad that's done, and then I can move on to working on the decoration for this, plus the redstone door over here. Now I am kind of tempted to try a bit of a bigger door, but that's gonna be a lot of trial and error, and I'll probably mess around with it here and there to figure out what I want to do or how it all works. In my head, it seems easy enough, but I know that it won't be that easy. Now from there, I realized that the sides over here of the tree farm, tree farming area, was a bit off. And so I finally moved this part up here, which before it was all the way back here. And I'm trying, I'm, so I like the idea of having the tree farm here. However, the section over there and over there touches the blocks over there, which as we've seen before and as I've discussed about how it's annoying to have to break down the leaves each time because they, they don't despawn unless they're not touching a solid block. So, what I'm thinking is either A, I can get rid of this last bit over here and put something else there, but I don't know what I would put. Or something a little more drastic. I was also thinking of getting rid of all of this, keeping the design for the most part, but raising it up and having a, essentially a lake, I guess, down here. And you would have the bridge come to about, say, here? And it would go across, and then it would drop down to enter the storage area. And then you'd have a 
bridge that, you know, is roughly this high, going over in that direction, that direction, to go into the enchanting and the farming area. So I'm torn thinking about doing that, because I think that would be really cool to see. And it would be very interesting to decorate and all of that stuff. And if you if we wanted to go a bit further, we could even have essentially waterfalls feeding in from the top. Which then we could go up top and actually terraform some stuff. However, the problem becomes that this is in this is a taiga, which now freezes. And I would have to be very specific about where I put torches and ways to ensure that the water doesn't freeze and then it all stops. Because, as you can see, it's a bit of an ice land out here. If we would be lucky enough that it happens to be like in this area, we'd be fine. Why is that sheep floating? Hmm. That's a, that's a future me problem. But otherwise, if we get lucky enough to where we could actually like terraform something up here, that'd be cool. But I think that'd be such a cool idea to have essentially a lake down below. And also, especially with the future updates of the aquatic update and different ways to make it cooler along the way. It'd be really interesting to see how it changes over time. And so I'm really leaning towards doing that and then digging out a new area and actually doing a more of a tree farm that I can just run down, chop everything, be done with it, replant. But yeah, I'm very, I'm very much leaning towards that, doing kind of like, I guess, underground ruins in a way would be one possibility, but just a basic lake would also be cool. And so, yeah, that is my kind of rough idea at the moment. And I will show you what we, or I'll show you what I worked on off camera down this way towards the skeleton farm. So I haven't got the floor worked out quite yet because I got distracted doing that up there and finding that little error. But I decided to put spruce behind all of these, which I think works quite well. And otherwise I haven't really done anything else special down here, down this way either. Because yeah, it's still the same, same deal. I'm definitely leaning towards doing that for the tree farm. I think it would be really cool to see how it evolves over time. And as far as the floor here, I'm leaning towards grass, but I have to make the grass travel down here, which that's going to take some time. That, that would take quite a bit of time to get it moved down, but it would definitely fit the vibe we're going for here. However, the other option, do I have? I do. Okay. The other option would be, say, since I have spruce on the walls and spruce logs, what we can do is put some more wood down here and do oak and jungle, which I think would be kind of cool. So if we do, say, this, do that and that. Now, I'm not sure about any sort of transition, but I mean, could also do maybe add this right here as a way to break it up and then you go straight into the wood over here, but I think that might be okay. But I think we might continue this all the way down. And I was thinking, since we have the water features on the wall, we could also run water down here just behind stairs or something like that and i don't know if we would continue that all the way down to here and then do something different for the area leading out to out to the skeleton farm but it, i don't think it would look too bad to have the water feature going behind stairs or something that we put right here but i'm going to work on this separately since it is episode 15, and I roughly want to update every 5 or 10 episodes, depending on what's in the update and what comes up in the next update, I guess. Mostly what's going on in the current update. But I think it's time we update to 1.3. Kind of 
because that'll also let us do some exploring since with 1.3 we get desert temples and jungle temples so it'll be kind of cool to see if we can find any of those nearby and otherwise might work on kind of covering up some stuff and maybe doing some more connections to see about maybe connecting this over to that area and stuff like that or maybe finishing I don't really want to finish off this area if I'm looking at doing the lake idea, which I still think would be really cool. So I'm going to go and update and I will bring you back here and we will go on an adventure. All right, we are officially in 1.3.2. And with this, there's not a whole lot of change other than the temples being spawned in the world. And on top of that, enchanting got changed. Now it's closer to the most recent update. I don't think Lapis is needed at the moment, but I definitely, I know that the experience level, yeah. So the experience level with the most, ex, the, the most expensive is on the bottom, but it's going to max out at 30 with 15 bookshelves. So I need so one, two, three. So I just need three more bookshelves to get the full enchant. And then I can actually start, you know, enchanting stuff more consistently but otherwise there's really not much there's a few changes to mobs but nothing that is game breaking by any stretch however we do have stairs actual stairs for each wood type so we got jungle stairs and jungle slabs now which is actually great because i needed to change out the ones over here however to be honest i might keep them just for posterity's sake i guess I don't know. I'll think about it. Let me know in the comments what you think if I should keep these here as a testament to the old times or just update them to match the other planks. And the only other thing is that when you do this, you still get the trap door or the pressure plate for oak instead of the other wood types at the moment. Oh, we can do that now. Oh my god, I totally. F oh, that's awesome. That's probably the best news so far. Oh. oh, fantastic. We can do this. Hang on. How did I miss this in the notes? Oh, hang on. Oh, you're being a jerk now. Don't make me sad. Okay. Hang on. What? Wait, what? No. Okay, so you have to be just like directly in front of it. I got you. Hang on. Right there. Right there. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Okay, that's probably one of my favorite things so far. Well, I know what I'm going to be doing soon. Okay, that is awesome. Oh, cocoa beans changed. Okay. Interesting. They did add tripwire hooks. Oh, and levers can be placed on the other on the underside of blocks now, thankfully. Wait, can stairs be placed upside down now? One second, this is very important. They can. Yes! I am far too excited about this. One second, one second. Oops, wrong one. There we go. Oh, that's what I was going for. However, I'll be putting the wood stairs around it and putting the stone brick on the sides. So something like this. Oh, it's gonna be great. Okay. Oh, I'm so much. Oh, this is great. <laughs> there was more here than I thought. Oh, that's fantastic. And apparently the wood blocks where the log is this texture on all sides it's in the game but it can't be attained it can't be obtained legitimately at the moment so that'll come later but the stairs upside down and everything and the logs actually going side to side oh that's fantastic okay i'm very happy now so now <laughs> oh it's too great all right 
So I do want to go and do some exploring, though. Because I want to see if we can find a jungle temple or a desert temple. Preferably both. Just to have them generated. And go from there. First, let's clear the inventory. That's probably a smart thing to do. Now, I'm pretty sure that boats still suck right now. They've had a little update where they won't break when they hit a lily pad, but I'm pretty sure the steering and stuff is still less than great. But I'll bring it just in case, even though I'm pretty sure I'm going to regret it. So let's head out this way. I don't think I've gone this way, but even if I have, it's not the end of the world. And we will see what we can find. I'm really going to try not to use the boat too much, just because I, I know it's super annoying. However, my curiosity has peaked. Okay, you turn it by looking, which is different than what I remember. There's some clay around, which I could get for bricks. But at this point, that is, that's a very rare... That is a rare block to try and get. Does it break into... Yep. Does... Wait. Do you get nothing now for it? Is that... Really? Well, there's a new cave. All right, I'm going to start my travels, and if anything pops up, I will bring you on back. Okay, so this took a turn that I wasn't expecting. So while I was traveling on top of the ocean up top here, uh, the game kind of glitched, and it didn't load in all the chunks. But through, <laughs> through the chunks not loading, I think I saw the, the end portal. The end room, I'm totally forgetting the actual name of it, the, uh, whatever it's called. I think I, I saw it somewhere down in these, uh, around here somewhere, I, I don't know. But if so, that's really funny to me. And I'm gonna do a little spelunking and see if I could possibly find it, because that would be really f a funny way to find the end portal. And the stronghold, that's the word, stronghold. So I've yet to find the stronghold, but I did find melon seeds, which I have actually been looking for periodically whenever I would go out. I thought that I would find melons within the jungle, but I hadn't found any, so... Finding actual melon seeds is very nice. So I finally gave up on trying to find the stronghold over there, but I ventured in this direction and found a jungle temple in the middle of the water. Which is very new. <laughs> do they have the old... Tr do they have the traps that... So yeah, they'll have the trip wires. I will definitely take the trip wires and stuff. I've been down in the mines for a little while. Ooh, and free dispensers. Yes, I will absolutely take those. Absolutely take this. Yes, please. And we will definitely... Take the prize inside. Interesting. Ooh, emeralds. The first emeralds of the world. And they're sticky pistons. Fantastic. Oh, they updated the wood. So it's actually spruce wood now. That is cool. Oh, I will take the repeater. This was a beautiful find. Well, we found one. Now just need to find a desert temple to complete the day. Um... I guess let's just go... Sure, let's go this direction. If I don't find a desert temple, it's not the end of the world. However, I would like to find one sooner rather than later because in the early updates of the game when they were first introduced, the desert temples actually spawned with wool inside them or on the outside of them or something like that. So it's not something that you find in the current structure, which I think is kind of cool to have in the world. A village. Hokey Pinocchio. I think this is the update where they actually trade with emeralds now, since the emeralds are in the game. Okay. You got that for bread. However, I don't think they're that useful for the simple fact that if I remember correctly, they basically don't let you go back, or it's something... Something weird that the next update or two actually fixes. But we will take a screenshot, so I can at least know that this is here. Ooh, there's a desert well. 
That is actually a new structure, but not the one that I was going for. That was the smallest desert ever. I may have to call it on the desert temple for today. It's not wanting to, uh, it's not wanting to generate. However, before we update to the next update, we will definitely find one at some point because there's only, I think, four biomes, four, maybe five biomes in the world right now. So in theory, it should be semi easier to find one now than later on. Funny thing is that I'm finding so many jungle biomes when they're supposed to be a lot more rare, I thought. So literally, as I was trying to make my way back to the base, I actually stumbled upon this one. Fantastic. Oh, this is great. So in the newer updates, it doesn't generate with orange wool on the outside here. So I really wanted to be sure that I had one generated when they were put in. That way it's here. Oh, that's awesome. So in the future, I would like to actually do something special for the first two that I've found. I don't know exactly what I would want to do, but I think it'd be kind of cool to do something. Somehow preserve these, the first jungle temple and desert temple that is in the world. There we go. And we got TNT. Got iron. Got the gold. More gold. Okay. Nothing too crazy. But we will definitely take the TNT. So I figure I want to try and keep it somehow how I found it. But obviously getting rid of the TNT, since knowing my luck, I would explode it. And I, I don't need that. I just don't. Okay, cool. This is fantastic. I am so thrilled about this. All right, now we can make our way back to the base. Well, that was incredibly eventful. I am curious when I kill Enderman and I get the Eyes of Ender, if it's going to lead me to that area that I... I'm pretty sure that I saw the end, the end portal and room and everything. Under the ocean. So I'm very curious how that's going to turn out. But I will meet y'all at the base. Well, I think that's going to do it for this one. Uh, for some reason... The game sounds just kind of stopped working, and I don't understand why. So hopefully between this episode and the next one, I can figure that out and actually get it back to working. I don't think there's anything specific I can do. Maybe there's a specific setting in my computer that got buggered up or something. I'm not totally sure, or the game just loaded weird. I'm not sure. But we're going to leave it at that. We did find what we needed. Got the desert temple and the jungle temple which is fantastic probably some more decorating next time and working on maybe the skelly farm and kind of beautifying that or working on these two farms to make them workable and do some science with the spiders since i have no clue how to do those and also let me know if you have any extra ideas for the tree farm area because i'm leaning towards the lake or some sort of water-esque feature since that seems like a solid plan but i am curious what other ideas people may have when it comes to be adding on to the end over here so we would get rid of this part and change it to something else i don't i have no idea what though maybe just a basic path and is the only thing i can think of but otherwise that's gonna do it and i will see you in the next one do take care of yourself thanks for watching